Hello, Mario! Or the kid basic. 10.3 Civil Project. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, this is the Civil Project, which I should be I should be on the you know, I should be really able to nail this because this is my area of expertise. However, this book is uh, written in America, so they do it slightly different to the way that we do it here in the uh, land of the Kiwi, and so, yeah, some of it's a little bit foreign to me, but I'll follow the way in the book, because this is about AutoCAD rather than about civil applications. It's just a flavor and an idea, so we do do the bearings a little bit different here, and um, the way we do things is, well, I, I would do it with slightly more complexity uh, than what's shown here. But nonetheless, the lessons to be learned from it are, are good and uh, move us forward with our AutoCAD. Remember, this is an AutoCAD course that we're doing. It's not a course in architectural design or CAD, architectural CAD or mechanical, or civil, or landscaping. It's just about the AutoCAD and using AutoCAD, and we provide various little flavors uh, within that just to show how it might be applied to the different fields that the people that take the course have. Like everybody, every different um, profession or trade or whatever that uses AutoCAD uses it in a slightly different way and it varies from country to country. So anyway, let's um, bearing that in mind, let's have a look at AutoCAD. So here we go. Um, start on the civilmeters.dwt. So that means that's a new plan because it's a DWT there, um, which is a drawing template so that's got everything set up beforehand so we need to navigate to uh, the, the uh, where it is which is in here in these course files and it's civil meters civil meters okay so that's uh, that's it there and it's all opening up before us now the first thing we do is save it um, so saving it. I'm just checking that I'm recording. This is my third go at this one. I did the first one and it didn't quite go so well, so I did a marvellous second one, except I forgot to um, turn on the recording of it. So I uh, got to the end and went to stop recording and found out that I was uh, starting. So um, file uh, save as and we want to uh, save it um, to our course files, of course, uh, right there into there. And it's they want it to be called Plat One, which um, would seem a bit of an unusual name here. Um, oh, I've already got a Plat One there. So um, save. And uh, do you want to replace it? Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to replace it with the one uh, that's from my previous attempt. So that wouldn't happen on your ones. So you'd just uh, save it. So there it is, and it's called Plat 1. Now, the Americans call their property plans, and I think it's also a term that's used in the C in the UK as well. I don't quite know where it comes from, so I have to find that out at some point. But they call their property plans Plats. Um, I don't quite know what, rather than plan or plot, or that they're called plats. So that's where that uh, comes from. I don't quite know um, its origins. So anyway, uh, set the current layer to property line. So we should have a property line. Uh, you can see all the layers are set up in here in this um, template, to the starting template. And also down the bottom, all the tabs and possible viewports and things that you might use. Okay, set the polar increment to 18 degrees. So um, I think that's that's referring to here. And it's already set to 18 degrees because I've, I've been here before. Okay, alrighty. Now, 
escape. Um, all right, so that's all good. Um, draw the outer boundary shown starting at point A, 0, 0, and use the polyline. So we go there, and the first point is just 0, comma, 0. Enter. All right, and then we... Uh, so I might just pay to bring that into the middle there like that. And we go along there 80. Okay, 80. Like that there. And then up here, um, so that's seven, north, from north go 72 degrees to the east, which would be leave 18 there. 72 plus 18 would be 90. And that's for a length of 57. Okay. Now this next one here, from the north go 36 degrees. So that would um, 36 um, and 54. 36 and 54 make 90. So it's 36 degrees from north, which would be 54 degrees from 90. Okay. So... Um, that's that's all good to go there for 38 meters okay and then we go straight up there and you can see we're going north uh, 50 and then we go west um, 137 okay and then we close it up all right so that's um that's our property line all done all right, now let's set out the building. Um, so that's going to be, we're going to draw, use the line tool to do that. Line there or L for line. And we want to go midpoint to there and midpoint to there. And that midpoint there and join them all up. Oh, there we go. And right there, that's where the building goes. And we're going to go... 30 meters that way, I think, and then 12, and uh, this is so much easier the third time, uh, <laughs> 30 that way, and 12 that way, and then 30 that way, I think, and then up here, 24, yep, and then across here, 60, 60, down 12, yep, and across here, um, oh, we don't know that one, we're going to go across there and up to there like that, I think, oh, perhaps not, um, oh, sorry, that was... Um, 30 so let's just check that that's uh, 30 yep and this down here should be 36 and it is I missed the there so there's our um, oh what I did forget is to put that there into that should have been in the building layer I forgot to change set my layers which is something of yeah um prone to do so um building set the current layer to building okay all right draw the outline and yeah that's all all good there so that's in the building layer okay we'll just check that yeah building all righty now it says uh yeah what is the direct distance between points A and B rounded to the nearest meter? Well, this is the, so we go to a little measurement tool here. Measurement, distance, and I think that's point A, and that's point B up there. And I'd get 185. 185 is answer C, which I would agree with. So, yes, I'm happy with that. Turn the property lines into a polyline. So it is a polyline. Yep, yeah, that's all good. And um, select the polyline and open the properties palette. Scroll through the vertex numbers to point C. So 
Let's uh, select that there, and then we come here, and we go through. So we're there, there. That's point B. Uh, I think that's point C there. Yep, it is. And then we want to look at the um, things 134 and 18. So that agrees with... Uh, C, 134.18, that agrees with C. So, that's all good. Oh, we must be on to it. Now it says, toggle off the building layer, and what is the perimeter outline layer, property line, rounded to the nearest meter? Well, I can just click on there, and 462.28, that gives me the perimeter there straight away. But... Um, they're suggesting another way here. I just the other way is to go here. Now they're saying to toggle off the building, but I don't even know that you have to. Um, if we go there and go O for object, okay, and select this object, it's um, yeah going to give you the area there. And when it gives you the area, it also gives you the perimeter, which is four six two. 0.28462 so I'm not sure about all that um, toggle off the building what is the perimeter rounded to the nearest meter I'm not quite sure what there what's going on there um, yeah but anyway um, that's we'll leave it at that um, we, we just can toggle off the building line let's let's just make sure we do that so just toggle it off there and it's gone, and, then, and we're going to toggle it back on again. So, yeah, and we've got the right answer. Explode the property line and select the line DA. So we go there, all right, X for explode, and like so. Or we could go to explode here. Let's explode there, just a little symbol there. All right, and then it says, what is the angle of the line? And that's that one there. And I've got 259, which is C. Okay, um, yeah, let's see. Um, all right. Okay. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm just trying to think what that um, perimeter was, measure area. Um, we could go there, 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 there. I'm just... Checking that perimeter again. Double click. Oh. Double click. Oh, enter. I think I'll push to stop it. Yeah. Uh, and 46228. 462. Oh, it was A. I thought all the answers were C, but that's all good. And we just escape out of there. And uh, that's all done. So um, that's pretty much it for that um, little project there. Uh, alrighty, so here we go, uh, back again. So that concludes the civil project. Uh, and we've worked our way through that and seem to have everything sorted out. <clears throat> and that, um, yeah, brings us to the end of that chapter as well. So, and the end of this particular session session five so let's uh call it quits there and um get ourselves ready for the second half of the book and session uh, sorry uh, yeah the second half of the book session six seven eight nine and ten all good cheers see you